You see, approximately 65% of Germany's highways make up the famous Autobahn system. It's a network of roads that's not only efficient, but also known for its unique feature, the absence of general speed restrictions. Now don't get too carried away with the idea of pushing your pedal to the metal indefinitely. Contrary Olá pessoal, bem-vindos a mais um vídeo nesse canal, nós somos cidadãos do terceiro mundo e nesse canal a gente reage e aprende sobre o primeiro mundo. Nesse vídeo a gente vai reagir a 12 fatos chocantes que você provavelmente nunca escutou antes sobre a Alemanha. Então pedimos que por favor você considere se inscrever, ative as notificações e também deixe mais sugestões aqui embaixo nos comentários. E agora vamos para a reação. Germany, a nexus of innovation and tradition in the heart of Europe, is home to a tapestry of captivating secrets. Today, join us as we unravel 12 shocking facts that will undoubtedly broaden your understanding of this European powerhouse. From unconventional customs to astonishing technological feats, this exploration will guide you through the lesser known facets of Germany, offering a fresh perspective that goes beyond the ordinary. So, let's delve into the enigmatic world of Germany and discover a side you've never encountered Todas before. Imagens, Germany, né? officially known as the Federal Republic of Germany, is situated wow. in the western part of Central Europe. It's the second most populous country in Europe, right after Russia, and holds the title of the most populous member state of the European Union. Geographically, Germany is like a patchwork quilt bordered by Denmark to the north, Poland and the Czech Republic to the east, Austria and Switzerland to the south, and France, Luxembourg, Belgium and the Netherlands to the west. It's like being at the crossroads of cultures, and that diversity is part of what makes Germany so fascinating. Let's rewind the clock a bit. Various Germanic tribes have called Germany home since ancient times. The region, known as Germania, dates back to before AD 100. Fast forward to 962, and we see the formation of the Kingdom of Germany, a major player in the Holy Roman Empire. The 16th century brought about a significant change. Northern German regions became the heart of the Protestant Reformation. After the Napoleonic Wars and the end of the Holy Roman Empire in 1806, the German Confederation was born in 1815, setting the stage for the formal unification of Germany. Then, on August 18, 1866, the North German Confederation Treaty was signed, laying the groundwork for the birth of the German Empire in 1871. However, the road to modern Germany wasn't without its twists and turns, including the turbulent times of World War I, the German Revolution, and the rise of the Nazi regime. After World War II, Germany found itself divided into two separate entities. West Germany, officially the Federal Republic of Germany, and East Germany, the German Democratic Republic. The Berlin Wall stood as a symbolic division until the reunification on October 3, 1990. Isso é muito interessante, porque teve esse confronto e após a esse esse regime ter terminado, a Alemanha foi dividida. Então parece que cada lado ficou com uma parte da Alemanha e parecia que isso fazia parte de algum acordo para dividir o país em dois modelos econômicos, político econômicos. Realmente eu acho isso uma loucura. A Alemanha meio que era um era um prêmio que fazia parte de um acordo. Eu só sei que eu acho muito louco que até hoje a gente tem esse muro, né? Que dividia essas duas Alemanhas e isso é uma coisa que eu acho fascinante nos países europeus, porque eles é, preservam muito a história deles, então é possível a gente andar lá e vivenciar isso, conhecer melhor sobre isso. Isso é uma coisa que realmente é admirável. Aqui no nosso país, é, infelizmente, muitas vezes a gente não tem isso. Então, é uma coisa que quando a gente vê em outros países, a gente acaba se surpreendendo muito. Porque realmente ainda existe e é bem preservado, né? É necessário manter é, as lembranças daquilo que transformou... Uh, 
as pessoas daquele país, independente de que país seja. Isso é muito importante manter na memória a história do seu país. Isso é uma coisa que a gente, em nosso país, não tem muito apreço. Bringing the nation back together. Today, Germany stands tall as a global powerhouse. With the largest economy in Europe and the world's third largest by nominal GDP, Germany is a force to be reckoned with. It's a leader in industrial, scientific and technological sectors, boasting the third greatest number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. But it's not all about wow. industry and history. Germany is a developed country that cares for its citizens. It offers social security, a universal healthcare system, and even tuition-free university education. No wonder it's a member of prestigious international organizations like the United Nations, European Union, NATO, and more. Number one, the legal drinking age is 16. We all know that different countries have different rules when it comes to alcohol, but Germany takes things to a whole new level. In Germany, you can start sipping on undistilled alcoholic beverages, like wine and beer when you're just 16 years old. That's a five-year gap compared to the United States. I bet some of you are already raising an eyebrow. So, what's the deal? Well, the German law allows teenagers, starting from the age of 16, to enjoy the lighter side of alcohol. You know, the good old wine and beer without needing their parents by their side. It's like a rite of passage into the world of responsible drinking. When it comes to distilled que spirits, louco, the game isso? changes. Germans, young and eager, still have to exercise patience and wait until they hit the big one. That's 18 for those keeping track at home. So, while you can enjoy that frothy beer at 16, the stronger stuff will have to wait until you're officially an adult. It's like a boozy countdown to freedom. Number two. 1,000 different types of sausages. When you think of Germany, wow. the first thing that probably comes to mind is their delicious sausages. But did you know that the variety is so vast that it surpasses the imagination? Over 1,000 different types of sausages. Each one is a unique so. flavor experience waiting to be explored. Let's start with the heavy hitters, the sausages that have made a name for themselves on the global stage. We've got the classics like Bratwurst, Weisswurst, Frankfurter, Knackwurst, and Teewurst. These aren't just names, they are a journey into a world of savory delights. Isso é algo que eu tenho, na verdade, é, falando com muita sinceridade, em todos os países que a gente for visitar, a gente quer experimentar tudo que for possível. Mas as salsichas alemães é algo que eu tenho uma curiosidade muito grande de provar, porque eu imagino que são tantas e cada uma com sabor tão diferente que deve ser uma loucura. É verdade, eu me pergunto quanto tempo levaria para experimentar tudo isso, porque são milhares de salsichas, então realmente é algo inacreditável a variedade. E não podemos esquecer que estamos falando somente das salsichas, porque devem ter outras coisas deliciosas para gastronomicamente para experimentar nesse país. Sim. Each variety has its own distinct characteristics, and the secret lies in the blend of spices used to flavor them. Here's a pro tip for anyone planning to visit Germany. Don't just stop at the classics. Explore the local markets, butcher shops, and street vendors to discover regional specialties. From Nürnberger Rostbratwurst to Currywurst, the options are endless. Trust me, your taste buds will thank you for the culinary adventure. Number three, highest smartphone usage in the world. According to a 2020 analysis by Newzoo, Germany stands out as the leader when it comes to smartphone adoption. Out of the 83.9 million people in the country, a whopping 67.14 million are smartphone users giving Germany an impressive smartphone penetration rate of 80%. Just to put that into perspective, let's compare it to other major players in the smartphone game. The United States boasts a smartphone penetration rate of 72.1%, and over in China, it's 59.9%. Germany is outpacing them both, making it a true mobile-first nation. So, what's driving this smartphone wow. revolution in Germany? Well, It turns out that most locals are tapping into the digital world through popular carriers like Telecom, Vodafone, or O2. These giants dominate the German mobile landscape, providing reliable services to millions. Number eu confesso que eu, acho, eu acreditava que o Brasil fosse estar no ranking. 
Porque o uso de celular em nosso país é muito grande. As pessoas fazem de tudo. O celular em nosso país é muito caro. A gente tem alguns celulares, alguns smartphones que são muito baratos, mas com uma qualidade muito inferior e outros com uma qualidade superior, porém com muito difícil da grande maioria ter acesso. Mas todos em nosso país, a, a, uma boa parte das pessoas fazem uso do smartphone. É verdade, tem pessoas que até se endividam para ter um smartphone. Outros é, deixam de pagar contas e tal para ter um iPhone, por exemplo, né? Porque, é, pelo menos aqui no Brasil, é, ter um celular Apple é uma coisa que é vista como um status. Então, tipo, um status, assim, é, é uma coisa muito... É, ah, como que eu vou dizer? É, é um artigo de luxo. Então, muitas pessoas têm também como uma forma de ostentar. Então, eu realmente não entendo como que uma pessoa consegue se endividar para ter isso. Mas eu também pensei que o Brasil fosse estar nesse ano. Número 4. Numerous unexploded bombs in Germany. World War II had a profound impact on many countries, and Germany was no exception. Even decades after the war, remnants still pose a threat. And one surprising fact is that more than 2,000 tons of unexploded bombs are discovered in Germany each year. That's like having a ticking time bomb beneath your feet. So, why are these unexploded bombs still causing a buzz in Germany? Well, it turns out that before any construction project kicks off, whether it's a new building or a road, experts have to play bomb detectives. Before a single shovel hits the ground, experts meticulously scan the area, making sure it's bomb-free. Imagine having to check every inch of land before Mas building a house. Acidente. It's like playing real-life Minesweeper. The German government takes this matter seriously. They have dedicated units specifically trained for bomb disposal. These experts work tirelessly to neutralize the threats and keep the public safe. It's a challenging job, but someone's got to do it. Number 5. Prison escape is not illegal in the country. You might have heard of some unusual laws around the world, Como but assim? Germany takes it to a whole new level. Picture this. What if I told you that in Germany, escaping from prison is not actually illegal? The land of sausages, beer and efficiency has a surprising philosophy when it comes to prison breaks. Unlike most countries, Germany doesn't slap you with extra charges just for trying to make a run for it. Why on earth would they allow something like that? Well, it's all rooted in a rather fascinating philosophy. In Germany, the powers that be consider the desire for freedom and escape to be a basic human instinct. So, when someone tries to break free, they aren't automatically hit with charges for attempting an escape. Number 6. Tallest yeah, Church in the World it's... Meet the Ulminster, standing it's proud at a staggering 161.5 meters or 530 feet tall. That's right folks, 530 feet of architectural brilliance. This masterpiece was intentionally designed to surpass the Cologne Cathedral, which itself is no slouch at 157.4 meters or 516.4 feet. Why build it so tall, you ask? It wow, turns out that this was a bit of friendly competition. The folks behind the Ulm Minster wanted to outdo the Cologne Cathedral by a couple of meters. It's like a historic game of architectural one-upmanship. Imagine the dedication and skill it took to achieve such heights back in the day. But it's not just about the height. The Ulminster is a marvel of Gothic architecture. As you step inside, you're greeted by awe-inspiring stained glass windows, intricate sculptures, and a sense of grandeur that truly stands the test of time. It's not just a church. It's a living testament to the craftsmanship of its builders. Number 7. Germany is home to 25,000 castles. If you're someone who loves the allure of towering turrets, ancient walls, and the echoes of history, a gente já reagiu a, a um vídeo sobre castelos na Alemanha e meu Deus, aquilo era uma coisa linda, porque são milhares de castelos e é a mesma coisa que você está olhando para um filme, porque é, é muito lindo, é muito lindo e muitos estão muito bem preservados, né? Não, isso é realmente incrível. É um, um trabalho de arquitetura realmente muito bonita. É um trabalho de arquitetura é, que registra o momento em que elas foram construídas, né, no sentido de ter sido construídas há anos atrás. E elas são muito, realmente muito bonitas. A gente hoje vê edificações modernas, a gente acha bonito, mas as edificações antigas 
são tão bonitos quanto as modernas, apenas por um, um, um conceito estético diferente, mas muito bonitas também. Verdade, é incrível e nem uma vida inteira seria possível você conhecer todos esses castelos que tem lá. Olha isso, é muito louco. Germany is your dream destination. Our castle journey begins in the Thuringian Forest, a region that offers a unique twist to your castle hunting adventure. But what sets Germany apart is the famous Wartburg Castle in Eisenach. Not only is it one of the most renowned castles in the country, but it also holds a special place in history. It's where Martin Luther translated the New Testament into German for the first time. Talk about a castle with a story to tell. The Swabian Alb in southwest Germany, é, um a region where outro. nature and history collide. The landscape is adorned Olha. with spectacular fortresses, creating a scene straight out of a fairy tale. The crown jewel of castle spotting has to be the Middle Rhine Valley in the west of Germany. Because within a mere 60 kilometers between Bingen and Koblenz, you'll find an incredible stretch of 40 well-preserved castles. It's like a castle paradise. The Upper Middle Rhine Valley achieved UNESCO World Heritage status in June 2002, becoming the first German cultural landscape to receive this prestigious honor. Now, you might be wondering, how do we know there are 25,000 castles in Germany? Well, it's a bit tricky since there are no official statistics on this. But based on estimates. Mas é incrível, né? Porque lá tem umas cidades que parece realmente é, cinematográfica. Você não diz que isso existe. Você olha e simplesmente parece que foi uma coisa montada para um filme. Eu acho isso incrível porque é uma, uma viagem no tempo. Sim, e, e o que surpreende muito é que em muitos lugares essas construções antigas estão juntas com construções novas, então fica algo incrível, visualmente incrível. É único, né? That's the jaw-dropping number we're looking at. So, you can imagine the sheer variety and history Olha waiting to be explored. Number 8. Largest car producing countries in the world. When it comes to cars, Germany is an absolute heavyweight. Just think about it. Audi, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Volkswagen. These names are practically wow. synonymous with precision engineering and automotive excellence. But did you know that these German manufacturers collectively churn out over 11 million cars every single year? What makes it even more impressive is that a whopping 6 million of those cars are actually produced right here in Germany itself. Yes. You heard that right. Germany is a car production powerhouse, cranking out millions of vehicles with the precision and efficiency that they're so renowned for. German cars are not just about speed and sleek designs, they're also about trust. The reliability and robust construction of German cars are downright notorious, and it's this reputation that makes them a favorite among drivers worldwide. You've probably heard the saying, Germans don't play when it comes to cars, and it's true. German car manufacturers are at the forefront of technological advancements, from electric vehicles to autonomous driving. They're not just keeping up with the times, they're setting the pace. And this commitment to staying ahead of the curve is a big reason why they consistently produce some of the most sought-after cars globally. Number 9. A highway system with no speed limits. Picture this. The open road stretching out before you, the wind tousling your hair, and the freedom to hit the accelerator without any speed limits holding you back. Now, if that sounds like a dream come true, Germany's Autobahn is the place to be. You see, approximately 65% of Germany's highways make up the famous Autobahn system. It's a network of roads that's not only efficient, but also known for its unique feature. The absence of general speed restrictions. Now don't get too carried away with the idea of pushing your pedal to the metal indefinitely. Contrary to the popular belief that the Autobahn is a speed demon's paradise, excessive and dangerous speeds can indeed get you into trouble. The German authorities take safety seriously, and they're not shy about pulling over those who choose to treat the Autobahn like a racetrack. Despite what some might believe, not every stretch of the Autobahn is without speed limits. Construction zones, urban areas, Mas and... Eles não têm é, regulação para velocidade? Eu acredito... Eu... Não tem acidentes? Eu acho que... 
um país de primeiro mundo, as coisas funcionam de uma maneira muito diferente. Meu Deus, mas... Other specific sections assim? do have speed restrictions in place. So, it's not a free for all everywhere. But when you hit those unrestricted zones, it's an experience like no other. Number 10, a land of inventions. We all know Germany for its rich history, stunning landscapes, and of course, its sausages. But did you know that this European powerhouse has been the birthplace of some game-changing inventions that have shaped our modern world? Let's take a look at a few mind-blowing creations that originated right here in Germany. First up on our list are X-rays. The ability to peek inside our bodies without invasive procedures was revolutionized by German physicist Wilhelm Röntgen in 1895. Next, we have diesel engines. Ever wondered what powers those mighty machines, ships, and even some cars? Thank Rudolf Diesel, a German inventor, for introducing the world to diesel. these efficient and powerful engines. Zooming in, literally, let's talk about electron microscopes. The ability to see objects at the Nossa, tiniest scale um was made possible by German engineers Ernst Ruska and Max Knoll in the 1930s. Their invention opened up a whole new world of understanding the microcosmos, and it's still a crucial tool in scientific research today. Who doesn't love their favorite tunes? Well, you can thank German engineers for the MP3 format, Karl-Heinz Brandenburg and his team developed the technology that revolutionized the music industry, allowing us to carry thousands of songs in our pockets. The magnetic tape recorder, a cornerstone in audio recording technology, was brought to life by German engineer Fritz Fleumer. From music to voice recordings, Germany played a significant role in shaping how we capture and replay sounds. Number 11, free education for all. Education can be a hefty investment, but not in Germany. In this country, not only do locals enjoy tuition-free education, but international students are also welcomed with open arms and wallets. Germany's commitment to accessible education is deeply rooted in its culture. Public universities in Germany receive significant funding from the government, allowing them to offer tuition-free education. This means students can focus on learning without the burden of crushing student loans. Number 12. Beer is sacred in the state of Bavaria. You may have heard that Germans love their beer, but in Bavaria, it takes on a whole new level of significance. Believe it or not, beer is not just a drink here. It's considered a food. Imagine telling your doctor, I'm just having a hearty meal of beer tonight. In Bavaria, beer is so ingrained in the culture that it seeps into every aspect of life. It's not just for the weekends or special occasions. It's a daily companion. On average, an impressive 150 liters of beer are consumed per person annually in Bavaria. That's like wow. swimming in a pool of golden goodness. And here's a fun fact for you. About half of Germany's breweries are nestled right here in this charming region. And let's not forget about Oktoberfest, the world's largest Volksfest, beer festival. It's an explosion of beer, pretzels, and traditional Bavarian music, attracting millions of visitors from around the globe. This commitment to quality has made Bavaria synonymous with exceptional beer worldwide. So next time you're sipping on a Bavarian brew, remember, you're not just having a drink, you're partaking in a centuries-old tradition. And there you have it, folks, the surprising and delightful fact that in the state of Bavaria, beer is truly sacred. Meu Deus, eu não conhecia muitos desses fatos aqui. Olha, ah, eu, 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 eu realmente também não conhecia muita coisa, algumas coisas aqui realmente são muito curiosas. Outras coisas a gente já tinha conhecimento através das reações que a gente fez, mas eu devo, eu devo fazer um lembrete aqui e corrigir o que eu falei anteriormente. Não é somente as salsichas, mas as cervejas já alemãs também. Eu preciso, a gente precisa muito conhecer. A gente... Teve a oportunidade de experimentar algumas. É, eu, uma delas é a Pauliner. Eu não me esqueço dessa cerveja. Ela realmente é muito gostosa. E eu fico imaginando as outras opções que tem na Alemanha que devem ser tão boas quanto. É verdade. É um país que eu não vejo a hora de conhecer. Porque lá tudo é incrível. É, a cultura, as pessoas, é, lugares incríveis, a, a gastronomia a, e milhares de cervejas e salsichas. Então, é um lugar realmente fascinante. E não podemos esquecer todo o avanço tecnológico que inclui desde a fabricação de carros, como a criação do MP3, 
e tantas outras coisas assim que realmente é um, é um país muito avançado e é incrível, realmente é incrível. Sem dúvidas, realmente a Alemanha é um país único. Mas essa foi a reação desse vídeo, então se você gostou, aproveita também para se inscrever e fazer mais sugestões aqui embaixo nos comentários. Muito obrigado por ter assistido esse vídeo e a gente se vê na próxima reação. Tchau! Tchau.